Hello and welcome back to Buckland Junction. Sorry, I'm not in the loft. I'm in the kitchen today. Um, I've got nothing to show in the loft apart from miles of wiring and I'll show you that when it's all finished. But uh, today I've started on a, uh, on a project of two low loaders. But uh, let me show you what I got up to last night. <coughs> Excuse the camera work. I've made myself a pillar box. Pill box. There's numerous of these around Dover. One just about mm, two minutes walk from my house. It's covered in trees now, but uh, yeah, this is uh, last night's efforts. It's not finished yet, but uh, I will um, show you when it's finished. I've got to coat it in um, uh, PVA and polyfiller and then weather it and uh, whatever else. So, uh, that's my pill box. Oh. Um, this is a just a quick um, um, look at another project. Uh, this is a special thank you to one of my YouTubers, friends and long-term mates called Mattress. I've got this uh, project in the kitchen now, Mattress. So, uh, yeah, that's enough motorcycles. Back to the railway. Now then. These are the NATO, NATO, I think it's called Battle Space, um, low loaders. I don't know why they weren't, um, they weren't released as uh, real low loaders. Um, so this is my one. I think this was the searchlight. Um, when I was a kid, um, my friend uh, was into Action Man. Um, one Christmas I got an Action Man. And I didn't like Action Man. So, um, yeah, they're lovely. Uh, so I swapped, swapped my Action Man for his low loader. This was, a, um, uh, it had big guns and things on it. It was uh, like the gun carriage. Um, so I'm going to take these two and uh, make them into low loaders. So this is the project starting. This is my one. All the wheels are lovely and free. This one has uh, suffered a little bit. So here's all the wheels and their rusty axles. I've got to uh, give them all a bit of a clean up. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see how this project comes out. So I want to put uh, some fake boilers, big long industrial boilers I want to put on here. So uh, that's how the story starts. And... Uh, here we go. So um, both chassis have had uh, the obligatory bath. Yeah, um, I put them over there to dry. All the wheels from the uh, the rusty wheel, the, the from <laughs> all the wheels from the rusty version are in there having a soak. That's how rusty the axles were. I had a job getting the wheels off, but um, have a look. I Give those a bit of a sparkle, and with a dab of oil, we'll be good to go. So, back in a moment. So there we go, all the wheels are back in, and running really nice and freely. Yes, absolutely lovely, look at that. Front couplings are a bit rusty need a bit of a clean up but uh, I've already sandpapered them up I shall paint them with matte black and uh, they will be as good as gold onward we go okay moving on a little bit further I've put some uh, plate decking in and some raised beds um, I'm going to take the brush to them now um, I need to hide a bit of rust with some matte black there's the rust and then I'm going to paint the chassis in a, in a, oh, I haven't decided yet, but uh, catch you again in a minute. Well, welcome back my friends to the show that never ends. Wow, was that a job. There's so many nooks and crannies on these things. That one's still a bit wet. This one's kind of pretty much dry now. So we've changed the uh, overall look of these. I'm going to paint the beds slightly different colour. I'm going to use my old 
signal red, we're going to have red buffers. And I might even have white, um, I might even have white buffers. Hmm, maybe. Think about that. So I've taken them off so I can paint the uh, thing uh, buffer beam red. But wow, there's so many nooks and crannies. It took me about over an hour to paint each one. There's so many parts to it. There's the insides and oh man. Yeah, so at times like this I wish I had an airbrush. Well, I have got an airbrush, but I wouldn't want to use it in the kitchen. So we're uh, back in a moment with some more progress. Yeah, looking good. I'm quite happy with these. Well, as you can see, we've got nice red buffers. The grey um, has started to go matte now, it's drying. They're carrying a heavy load. So that's about it for tonight. It's uh, It's gone past midnight again. I've got red buffers. I think I might be having white-faced buffers. The buffer beams, I should be saying. These are, the buffer beams are still wet and I don't touch them, but I'm thinking about having white buffers. Well, he put that there. Anyhow, anywho, there we go. That's uh, as far as I'm going tonight. Uh, tomorrow should be uh, paint the beds different colour, white buffers, and then I'll start preparing the uh, boilers to go on them. So uh, that's our in the kitchen. Uh, see you tomorrow. Take care. Goodbye for now. Well, this is just a follow up and. Uh, these are my boilers. They're purely fictitious. They will make a handsome load for these uh, two low loaders. Um, I'm going to properly do them in red lead with a little bit of weathering. Uh, yeah. You know, this is a representation of pure British engineering and would have been made in the West Midlands or maybe Manchester or Trafford or somewhere. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it's after midnight. Just a little update. Look at those <laughs> pipes. They're just straws, but uh, don't tell anybody, will you? So low loaders are coming on. On the back I'm going to have some spares, maybe a case on this one and some piping on the other. So it uh, looks like they're off to a job somewhere. So uh, that's a progress report. Be back again tomorrow. Take care. That's Alan. Over and out. Okay, this is another progress report. This is, um, I think, I spent two days doing this. So... Um, is the low loaders with their boilers on is that rust or is that red lead i don't know and i did say this is british engineering probably made in the west midlands or in trafford park the hang on these are probably lancashire boilers aren't they because lancashire had a reputation for making boilers for a couple of hundred years so that's what I'm going to call them yes I'm going to call them Lancashire boilers and I did say that one will have a crate and the other one will have some pipes on the oh, oh some pipes on the back ready to go to a job so here's my case yes here's my case so it's all a bit fresh and um, so that's the case, I'll finish that off and then put him on the back of this wagon. Then on the back of this one I'm going to have some more spares which is uh, varied lengths of pipe ready to uh, put these Lancashire boilers into action in some kind of mill or whatever. So there we go, it's a progress report, I'm quite happy how it's come on. It's uh, looking good and I can't wait to see these on the layout being pulled by a certain locomotive and uh, yeah so that's just an update give you another progress uh, update tomorrow so that's our in the kitchen uh, ongoing
see you probably see you tomorrow night with the uh, hopefully with them finished and then uh, the next morning i shall give them a run on the layout so take care more to come here we go well, there we have it my fictitious boilers my lancashire boilers with a case on the back to go on to job with got a few girders and things underneath there that's that one I'll take you up onto the loft and we'll have a quick run before uh, it gets too late. So uh, I've got some rope hooks there, so I want some ropes to go over the top like that on, on them and on the pipes on the other one. So that's that one. This one I have gone a bit overboard with the pipes, but get my ropes on there, won't look too bad. I don't know what you think, but... Uh, yeah, I'd be quite happy to play with these. Uh, they're quite unique. So, uh, that's my Lancashire boilers. Well, that's not worked out very well, is it? But, uh, yeah. Let's go up in the loft and give them a run then. Come on. Oh, here we come. B17, Duff. One. Two. And a break van. Excuse the wire. That's what it's all about at the moment. Wire, 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 wire. I think they run really well. I don't know what you think. We've got our case on the back with all the spares. We've got our bundle of pipes. I wish I'd done in a different colour, but too late. And we've got the second boiler there. I know it's all fictitious stuff, but uh, they run really well. It's gone through all the streamlined points without a hiccup. They roll very nicely too, so uh, yeah, that's my two um, fictitious boilers. I wish I'd painted the uh, chains into a, a brown, rusty colour, but uh, well, there we go. That's the end of this video, I think. Uh, yeah, see what I get up to next, but it's wiring, wiring, wiring for the next few days for me, so... Don't expect a video for a little while. Take care, good people. Bye, it's Alan the Loft. Goodbye, take care.